Okay. Again, everyone, and let's make you all the people to scone. Let's get in game. Turn it off now. You. <coughs> Don't need the bright light. Hello again, folks. Um, okay, so we start a new journey. The TPUSC mod pack is out. Re Revision 8 is out, so you can go and get that if you want that. I'm starting on the TPUS 2 V10 mod pack. Um, again, it's a great way of showing you all what you can do with TPUS 2. It's far, far more customizable. <clears throat> and I go through that as we go through the stream. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I've still got this chest, so... You have to bear with me every now and again. I'm going to cough. So as I was saying, TPS2 is far more custom customizable in terms of using it, using other mods with it. Okay, we're going to make a mod pack for it. I'm also working on the Hafingar all-in-one, which is a mod for Hafingar, which will be added to this playthrough as it's as we move along. Okay, so uh, anyway, let's get on with them. Um, just setting up my character for now. I'll just do something. I'll just do a completely. I say completely different. I will vary it a little, I guess. What's this? Skin tone. Okay, right. Skin tone. We'll do that. Complexion. We'll make him a little bit younger. It's too young. Yeah, a bit a few marks on his face. Um, war paint. I'm going to stick with my traditional war paint because I like that. I will give this guy a different name, I guess. Hair. Let's try something different. the hell of it. Nah, it's a bit poncy here, isn't it? <laughs> okay. <coughs> oh, dear. <laughs> uh, he's a Nord. So, let's see what we can find. Oh, God, no. I've got KS hairdos or whatever it is. That's basically for females. So, um, I think our just stick with something traditional, really. What do we got? I think I'll go with the braids that I do. Let's change up his uh, beard. Change up his beard. I think I'll do that. I'm going to give him a different hair colour. I'll go for ginger. I think. Eye shape. Let's just do that. Oh, go down here. Stick with the current the eye shape that I like. Oh no, with that looks all right. We'll go with that. Um, and eye color. Uh, let's just go down to. And again, if you just join me, folks, this is a TPS two V ten AE mod pack build and mod building. You're going to see some. Uh, you're going to see Hafingar um, inserted into the streams. As I develop it, so you can see the all-in-one for Hafingar. So that's Dragon Bridge, the Solitude docks, or running up to Solitude, and the city itself. And it's an all-in-one build that will come out in um, October. Um, let's go with that. Why not? What should we call him? Um, we will call him... Anything, let's think what. Uh, <laughs> why not? Something like that, just make any shit up. 
first. What should we do? One word or two? And then let's think. Jam. No, I don't want that. <laughs> I'm provocating here. Um, I'll tell you what, we go long stride. Why not? Something like that. Just think simple. Okay. That'll do. Okay, right. And so, what you know, what you can do with TPO, see, we're going to mix and match a lot of different mods, folks, okay? Now, I'm just going to, we're going to very bright here. Again, I'm not using, um, I'm using the Setting Suns EMV preset, but I'm not using Lux or anything like that. So, you know, this is going to be a completely different experience, okay? Okay. And I don't know what we're going to find, folks, quite simply. I don't really want the frames on. I don't want that all the time. I just want to enjoy what I'm looking at and keep my eye out first and foremost for irregularities because, like I say, this is going to be a completely new build. We're going to, um, in terms of a mod pack and what we're going to mix with TPS uh, 2 AV10. Oh, they're back on. Oh, just piss off. Okay, let's go with this. Uh, we'll start off. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. The woods can be so peaceful this time of year. Good hunting. Oh, did I, uh... What's going on? To save that configuration. Seems like it just, um, went back to default. I might be dense here. We're, we're, we will get on with this in a minute, folks. I'm just waiting for that to save. Right, that saves. That saves. Okay. All right, okay. That's good. That looks better. Too bright. Okay, let's get on with this. Now, I'm going to caveat now. We're going to go into the Skyrim world. I have generated lots for the mods that I've got loaded up at the moment, okay? Um, I don't know what I'm going to find, to be honest with you, because quite simply, what I've done is um, I've loaded up TPS 2 AE, and I've disabled all the TPS C content and um, Luxfire and other mods. So what we're actually doing here, folks, is we're basically today... We're going to be testing the TPS2 AE mod. And um, I've also, as you can see from the TPS C streams, because I don't have settlements everywhere, um, I've added the, uh, what's it called? Fo Let's just see if I can go into my mods a minute. Let's just have a look. Let's just show you my mod list. Oh, God, I can't remember all that. The, the the grass mod, you see the grass mod I'm running, the folk, whatever it's called, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and it's pretty high settings, so I might need to adjust that. Because um, it's a very heavy grass mod. I do have a 360, but I'm running a lot of other high texture mods as well. Uh, so we'll see how everything performs, we'll see if anything's out of place, and we'll go from there. Now I actually placed it below... TPS uh, 2 AEV 10 so I might just might need to stick it above that might have been a mistake because I don't actually edit any grass or anything like that in, in TPS 2 V10 um, oh we got to go to Helgen I think what I will do I will advance the main quest I'm just getting a lot of it's just what's going on here what have I got ah that's why Makes a huge difference to my frames in stream. So I'm just going to save the configuration. Ambient inclusion um, does add a nice extra effect to your game. But it does take a lot of juice. And when I'm streaming, I need to turn that off. That's just the reality. For that. That's better. It feels better now. I'm going to go up to Helgen and start the main quest. Okay. We will check Hadfar uh, out and make sure he leaves the cave. Because that's always a good test. This looks nice. And I'm actually just going to cheat as well, folks. Because, again, this is early stage testing. 
Oh. Yeah, that's right. That will load it in. And I just need to also now set up some configurations. Time to lodge there. That's good. It's realistic water too I need to go into. And I need to disable the hand place ripples for um, Splashes of Storms by Power 3. That's that one. We're going to do... Well, I'm going to change up Sky UI. Got storm lighting. Light, lighting. I've, I've just put this in because I really like this. I'm going to do Ultra Realistic. Done Dying Do Lord. And it's lastly, let's just come out and then go back in. Violins. Let's just set this up. Okay. So to begin with, folks, just so you know, if you don't know, TPS2 AEV10, links are in the description, and it's for Xbox and PC. When you open up your map, map you're going to find a lot of new locations, okay? Now, all these locations have been carefully placed, um, so they don't clash with a lot of other mods though in the wild location now, i have loaded up some of my add-on modules that are part of tpos2 but you don't have to use them you could use any other mods you want for towns and cities and let me say you can mod any town and city any settlement except for heartwood mill okay Okay, let's get on up to... Now, as I said, I'm not running Lux or Luxfire, Lux Orbis. I'm running the Setting Suns EMB preset on its own with a lighting mod, okay? Um, and uh, that's it. There's no... We've only got uh, XD Embers and that's it, okay? Another mod that affects lighting, of course. So, let's get on up to Helgen. I'll pick up some weapons on the way back down to Riverwood once we've picked up Hafinger. Uh, sorry, once we've picked up um, Rayloff or, or the other guy, one or the other, in the cave, Hafinger. I'm thinking about the Hafinger mod. Um, I will insert that into this game at some stage, um, but not quite yet. I've still got some work to do on it. I've got to do the nav mesh as well before I start inserting it into this uh, new playthrough, a new mod pack. Okay. And I'm using all the default textures and meshes and parallax textures from the TPRC build because obviously I like this setup. This is the way I like my game to look. get some magic that's useful just want to see how that looks because so i reinstalled xd uh sorry yes xd embers because of course i'm not running um because i'm not running lux in that now so i had to reinstall xd and i'm just going to do I did the wrong one. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Well, I've got the armor, so I guess I might as well put it on. These are a couple of cheats that I just deploy, folks. Um, just so my life is a little bit easier when I'm testing and playing. Yes, they're cheats. You know, you're, you're not, not going to do this with your game, but... Uh, I just do this part of the testing process to make it easy for myself. I really don't like his hair colour, actually, but there you go. Let's stick with that for now, I guess. I 
think I prefer the fur actually. I'm going to stick with that. I don't have to too worry too much about being vulnerable because of the um, cheats that I just deploy in the bat from the bat files. They've increased all my stats for me as well. So. Um. But this is looking very sharp, very nice. I'm just looking at Matthew's 3D trees there. It's good. I'm about to pick a bow up, folks, from the water, and that's a TPSC cheat. Now, TPSC 2 V10AE places lots of little items all over the world, like over there, for instance, okay? And this is a cheat bow, of course. From TPS, uh, it's part of. Uh, it, you can find it under the TPSC mod um, on the Nexus. It's, it's a under uh, optional files or something like that, and it's basically a cheap bow that you can use um, if you want to. I mean, again, I don't use this if I was just playing the game, you know, for enjoyment. I use it as part of testing, just so I can take things out quickly and and not muck, you know, mucking around fighting for ages. Again, I got a lot of work to do. My time is limited, so you know this part of uh, you know when I'm streaming, I just want to get around the world, check what it is I need to do, check out mods that I'm deploying into the mob. Oh shit, shit! I just remembered. Shit, I forgot about that. Bollocks! I missed him. Oh, where is he? Come here, Wolf. That surprised me. I've I've been so used to playing TPSC in the last. Um, year or so I, I forgot how TPS2 changes things up so, <laughs> so yeah so you know I've got all the standard textures that I was running in terms of um, the TPSC mod pack I'm keeping those because of course as I said that's what I like this is the look I like these are the textures I like to run and I think they're pretty smart uh, for fushers or fushers textures um, fushers textures I think is the proper pronunciation there am I and what have I loaded up that's different? There's something else I loaded up which I added. I can't remember enough off the top of my head for this playthrough. It'll come back to me. But like I say, this is only uh, part one, folks. And we're going to see a lot of changes as uh, as we go. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I've loaded up the imp mod. Oh, they seem a bit more effective this time. Ah, that's more like it. Oh, so maybe there was a conflict then. God, I can't see him. There he is. Oh, God. Oh, I can't see Sonor. It's those flames, folks, and that's a real good effect. I'll talk about those in a minute if you don't know. Um, let's just see if I can get this damn him. Oh, let's put my HUD on, by the way. Sorry. I haven't got my HUD on. No wonder I can't hit nothing. <laughs> right, okay. I can oh, Christ, I'm getting hit hard here. Let's take these guys out. God. Oh, brilliant. Now, where's that imp gone? Where is that imp gone? Can't oh, I must have hit him. Oh, good, I hit him. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I've got me HUD on now. That makes things easier. Um, let's just save. We'll save that there. And actually, there's a little bit of rock there, look. Uh, but this looks very sharp. Look at this, folks. So that's blended really well. I'm glad to see that. Um, that's a... There, that's two separate mods there, of course. That's the grass mod. Folkska, or whatever it's called. I must I must remember the name, so when I talk about it, um, you know what I'm talking about. That's nice. That's very nice. 
Okay, and now we're now we're coming into um, Riverwood. Now, as I said, you can um, mod all the villages, towns, cities, and settlements with any sort of mod that you want. Okay, but I've loaded up um, some of the add-on mods from my from TPOS2 V10 Installer, and this is for Riverwood, and this is called Riverwood Grove. Okay. Are you feeling sick? I saw a dragon. Feindolf thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from Oh, me. I forgot to go She's to the damn mine, cave to check out. Can I still? No, I've hit the trigger. I Let's saw a dragon that. in Helgen. Truly? So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. What? What is it now, mother? It was as big Riverwood's as agreeable enough, I suppose. It For your right village. Over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, mother. If you keep on like this, you'll make it. So again, we're just checking out the landscape, folks, of course, because this is a test to see how everything fits together, make sure everything looks good. And at the moment, I've got no mods loaded up for the inn, okay? Now, if I remember rightly, I don't think Riverwood Grove edits the inn. Um, I think it leaves it in the TPOSC file. So uh, sorry, the TP in the TPOS2 V10 installer. I heard Luke and Young the other and let's day just go into the inn and see how it looks. Get out of the way, it dog. It wasn't me. <laughs> There you go. So this is actually some standard lighting because I don't have Lux loaded up, so it's just the, the template from the EMB preset. And like I say, um, I haven't loaded up any interiors for the inns yet. I'm not using my own Skyrim inns mod or any other mods. I've got, just got Ember's XD and my Set in Sun's EMB preset for the lighting, okay? So we'll decide along the way what we're going to add to the inns. You're, you're welcome to post your what you'd like to see we can use any in interior um uh from any mod because i as i said tps2 doesn't add anything to the ins you can use my add-on modules or you can use other people's mods and this is riverwood grove as i said it's a tps2 add-on mod for sorry yeah it's, it's an add-on mod for tps2 sorry i've been got got so used to talking about um TPSC, and now we're talking about TPS. You know, for the last year, now we're talking about TPS two. But um, Riverwood Grove, you can also get as a standalone mod if you're interested. Okay, but within the TPS two installer, it's an optional add-on, like Markarth, the Way of the Dwemer, which I've also loaded up. And as we run down to to White Run, you'll see my White Run exterior mod, which I've also used. But because I like those particular mods and I want to use them from the mod pack. But, um, what's this? Ah, oh, it's stone. Okay. Oh, of course, that's coming from the. All right, okay. So, um, yeah. But most other things, most other areas will be using other authors' mods. I haven't loaded up the uh, Soldier of War Winterhold mod yet because today's stream is all about base testing TPOS2 with the um, textures and the parallax textures and the mountain textures and um, other mods that I'm currently using. And again, I've deployed a different grass mod, as you can see, from the Brembrosium mod or whichever grass mod I was using, which I use for TPS2. The reason I'm using um, this other mod is because I can use it because all my settlements are raised up and in um, obscure locations so they don't conflict with um, other mods and again i'll say it again if you're new to the stream with tps2 v10 you can mod every town city and village except for heartwood mill interiors too okay So, I think what I'll do, again, we'll just go down to, because what I'm going to show you next is, folks, I'm actually going to show you the um, mods that I've installed from the TPS2 installer. I've installed, as you've just seen, Riverwood Grove. 
Um, I've installed um, the white run exterior mod and I've installed the Marcarth mod and that's the only add-on modules from the TPS2 installer that I've installed okay once we've checked all these out and see that everything works all right and there you go there's the walls of white run down there okay and um, once we've checked all this out then we'll start adding um, other mods in the next few days and again feel free to post suggestions okay that's good to see this is an important test here this tells me you know the state of play in terms of spawns automatic spawns that skyrim puts out the game itself the vanilla game puts out this is nice to see you can see the armor on there nice armor on those guards and um the wall and i've also so I, oh and i've also got my bridge mod loaded up which is a non-intrusive um bridge mod you can add from the tpus2 installer which doesn't edit nav mesh or anything like that so um you know if, if you want bridges at white run here um dragon bridge and there's a couple other locations from the installer you can inst you can add, um deploy that uh, add-on mod from the tpus2 v10 installer i'm just going to watch these guards now folks because i want to see these guards okay i want to see how they spawn and make sure that they spawn and travel off in the right direction here not spawn sorry sorry there's so much new information i'm i'm a bit batty at the moment <laughs> or i'm getting tongue-tied um I want to make sure that they've they've spawned, which they have done, and that they path, sorry, in the right direction, you know, and um, there's no anomalies in terms of um, nav mesh issues and stuff like that. That's what I'm trying to say. So, again, a lot of information in my head. Um, it's a complicated process. And again, also, I'm talking about a different mod, and I'm trying to remind myself, you know, this is TPS2, not... TPSC. And they're going the right way, and that's good. They should always veer to the left here and path through White, white Run without incident. I think we will go this way first, and we'll, we'll let them do their pathing. We'll go and kill that giant, and then I'll show you the settlement that's outside Battleborn Farm. Oh, I also loaded up the Way of the Nords which is the interior to white run as well so i'm using a few of my add-on modules because i favor them i like them but you wouldn't you you don't have to again you know these you know you can use um i just took him out thank you is she gonna thank me or is she gonna pretend she didn't see my arrow hit him well that's taken care <laughs> of no thanks to you yeah okay you didn't look like you needed help Certainly not, but a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here with my shield brothers. What is a shield brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Can I join you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Okay. So we'll just hit um, the stables marker. We'll just check White Run itself is okay. I'm using the Way of the Nords from the TPS2 V10 installer. Oh, this looks nice. Look at this man. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Will this change your mind? Official business only. Welcome to White Run, friend. Go right on in. <laughs> Oh, no, I didn't load it. 
Oh, I didn't load it, folks. I didn't load um, the way of the Nord, so this is just vanilla. We'll pay whatever so it takes, but we must have we can add um, soldiers. I just something can't spell an order that size on my own. to uh, the Why white one, white run interior Ask city. Then. We'll do that in time. Hit by a dragon. Okay, I didn't load it up. I didn't think I was, I, you know, I, I try not to put too much of my stuff in. Because uh, I thought with this mob pack, like I say, we'll try other authors and we'll see, uh, you know, um, what we can do. Uh, well, because I want to show you what what you can do with TPS two V ten, all right. So this is the outskirts of um, White Run and the V, you know, the White White Run exterior mod. So I'm just going to come down, and basically you've got extended walls and old ruins, guard patrols, and stuff like that. I'm just going to come through the gate here, and then we'll come back through. We'll go over to the Battleborn farm. Okay, so there's lots of, of... Oh, and there's much more grass in this gameplay as well, as you can see. Um, a hell of a lot more grass. So, so the White Run exterior mod in the TPS2 V10 in installer runs from here, of course, up to the Western Watchtower. And all the way through. And all the way through to Battleborn Farm. So let's do that. Let's run to Battleborn Farm. And then we're going to fast travel up to High Rothgar. So, you know, I'm going to be aware, of course, of performance. And I may have to turn down um, the quantity of grass that I've, that I've got. Because, um, especially when I stream. But we'll, we'll just watch the performance and we'll see what happens. But it seems pretty much okay at the moment. The nice thing about TPS2 V10 is it is a lightweight mod. So you've just seen the wars there, folks. Um, around White Run there, and they extend now. We, ex I mean, you've got bridges here, and you've got another. You've got more, you know, added settlement and units on the other side of the river there, and you've got a market there as well that runs down towards uh, the other guards' tower. And uh, so I'm just going to show you that. Now here's the d double bridge, um, which is an add-on module of TPS 2 V10. It's also on Xbox for Xbox users in single upload format. Okay. And again, we're checking all the lighting here and the reflections, making sure everything's all right. This talk of dragons, world's gone mad, I'd say. And again, you, you don't have to use this module if, if you use TPS2 V10. It's an add-on module. You can use any mod you like. Let's come on down through this now this is the only problem with with grass mods uh, like the one I'm using here they're so invasive um, and that's why with with TPSC I use a different grass mod but with this it's sort of semi acceptable um, now we got the CC content here of course it looks quite nice I guess And the reason I'm using this grass mob, because I know a lot of people like to have grass and all the rest of it. So you've got a variation here. You know, I'm showing you, um, you know, how uh, these mods look um, and how the areas can look. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> With different grass mods in different setups. Okay, here's the market we're coming up to now. This is the TPSC market. It's Highland... Sorry, the TPSC, the TPS2 V10 market. Okay. I don't really need to go to it to pick up anything at all in particular. But what, oh, look at this. But what we are, oh man, that is a screenshot. We'll come back later because that can be a screenshot for tomorrow or something like it as that sun starts to set here. Look at this. Very nice. We're going to have a very nice sunset there, folks. And that's the Setting Suns EMB preset on its own with the weather mod uh, Aqua something. Again, I will write, I'm going to write down certain names of key mods. The grass mod I'm using because I keep forgetting them. So I can tell you exactly the proper names of them um, tomorrow in the next stream or the next day. I think it'll be Wednesday the next stream, folks, because it's um, school holidays here. I just now want to check the lighting of the um, market, the white run market. That's an animated door there by Glorious Doors. 
glorious Skyrim doors. Okay, it's quite bright in here. So it looks like I might have to do some... Ed actually, I don't know. I think that's quite nice, actually. I've just been used to a very dark interior with TPSC because, um, you know, that's the way I wanted that set up for that that mod pack and everything that I did. But this is going to be a different mod pack. But actually, that's quite nice. Um, let's just make sure that this... Uh, Nice shadowing there. Now, I'm not using any interior lighting, folks. It's set for the TPR. T I'm only using the, um, the Setting Suns EMV preset. Okay. Um, and the weather mod that I'm using. I'm not using Lux or any other lighting mod. Okay. For the interiors. So, this is pretty damn good for, you know. I always wondered, actually, how the EMV preset Setting Suns would work without Lux. Because I built it for Lux. So obviously the interior tests is a big test because I didn't know um, how my uh, preset would work without Lux because um, Are you, you know, feeling sick? I oh I didn't need to heal, do I? Thanks for that. Need something? Okay, let's just see. What, what have you got, got for here. sale? Take a look. That looks very good. That's that is bloody good. I like it. It's spiffy. Um, he's got no potions. Why do I don't really need that because I've got my own weapons. Um, I don't really need any of this either. But just to show you, show you the very, very nice. God, look at that oyster in the background. Farewell. Lovely. Or oh, clams, sorry. Wow, okay. All you right. So that's a pretty good. I'm really pleased with that, folks, because like I said, um, this is a start of a new journey and a new mob pack. And I wasn't sure how. Um, the EMB preset would, would fare without Lux because it was built for Lux. But so far, so good. The, the level of detail and the level of shadowing with just the EMB preset is pretty damn good. Look at this look. From the that is that. That is good. Okay, let's just check down here. Make sure there's no flickering or any weird shit. Well, hello. All right. And then we'll go back, and we're going to go to Markarth next, because I want to check the Way of the Dwemer. I'm really excited to see the Way of the Dwemer. It's one of my favourite mods that I made. Um, it, it's it's actually in what I would call a... It's complete in terms of singular use, but it actually was made for the questing versions to come. Like how the Hafengar all-in-one mod is made... Oh, wow. It's made for the damn man, for the questing versions to come. There's a nice orange sort of. I think this is going to be ver this is going to be so different from TPSC mod pack, folks. This is nice. This. How do I? I'm in F mode. I'm just trying to get my mouse to do what I want. All right. Okay. So we are now going to go to Hafingar. Sorry, Hafingar. I keep thinking about Hafingar. The all-in-one mod that I'm working on at the moment, it's for the Solitude area. Sorry, we're going to go to Markarth. At the moment, folks, if you just join me, what we're actually doing is we have TPS 2 V10 loaded up with all the texture mods and everything that I want for it. And today is the first basic playthrough to see TPS 2 in its naked, you know, on its own, if you like, with just my add-on modules. And I've got my White Run add-on module. I've got... Um, Riverwood Grove and um, Markarth. Now, we've checked all the others. We need to go and check Markarth now. So what I want to do is check that everything that I've done is working well and working correctly. And um, then we can start adding other authors mods for other areas. So I'll say it again. If there's stuff you'd like to see, you could feel free to make your suggestions. If not, I will just choose what I consider to be the best mods by the best mod authors. Um, for example, um, you know, Soldier of War's um, Winter Hold mod. I'm so curious to check that out because I haven't played it yet. And there's other mods that... Oh, wow. Now, you see, because I haven't got Lux loaded up, my skylines are even brighter than normal. That's really powerful. Is there a little bit of... I've got, I just want to get the depth of field out, not kicking in, because... Actually, I'm going to just TFC, actually, I think. I want to see the sky... Oh, look at that misty there. There may be some color alterations needed here. Um, I don't know. 
I quite like it actually. I, I don't have a problem with that fog, that greeny sort of tinge to that fog either because of the, the, the sky and everything. I guess we'll work all this out as we go along, all right, folks? We'll work this out as we go along. It's certainly getting interesting, I know that. Let's just go, um, it's getting dark, so you're not going to be able to see much. So let's just go to, we are fast travel to White Run Stables. It's always good to fast travel because, um, you know, you can get a lot of crashes, actually, if you've got a bad load order with fast traveling. We've also got Daedric Shrike, what's just kicked in there? What time of... Ah, so I know what I need to do here. There's a little anomaly there. You just saw it. There, I need to balance out the toning map between sunset and dusk and night. I've just saw that. I think that's what needs sorting there. So there's a little subtlety there I've just picked up on in terms of um, lighting. Because, again... Setting Sun's EMB preset was designed to run with Lux, the Lux series. And I'm not using Lux in this, folks, or Lux via or Orbis. This is just TPOSC, the Setting Sun's EMB preset, my add-on modules, and all the textures. We're going to be uh, we're going to be adding other authors' um, towns and city mods as we go along, and lighting mods as we go along. And I'm going to be showing you the Hafingar all-in-one build. And you can make suggestions for that if you like in time as well. Okay, I'd like to. I'd hire... like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Markarth. Climb and back. I'm so we'll looking forward on. to this. I love the way of the Dwemer. Not everyone's cup of tea, but I love Ever the way of the Dwemer. Markarth? One of my favourite mods, to tell you folks, dwarves. that I made. I, I mean, you know, out of all the work I've done, the way of the Dwemer is one of my favourite mods. It encapsulates um, just just the best of the different versions in, you know, in, and I did load it up. Please say I loaded it. Oh, I did. Oh, good, good. And it has, you wouldn't, um, don't act, if, if you ever use this mod, folks, on PC, disable it when you run the LOD generator. Because um, if you use Dyndu LOD or something like that, because I um, make most of the LODs around here full LODs. So when you're coming in from the distance, it looks real smart. Yes, you, you a performance impact, three or four frames, but worth it. Worth it in my book. Now, let's just, let's do the city first. And then I'll show you the Markarth area. But this is the way of the Dwemer. It's standalone on Xbox and PC. Xbox, I suggest you have the new Xbox, this S series. It's a big, big mod, but it's, you know, I like it. Because, um, you, you you know, you need some guts for this. Um, but I, I ran this with no problems on a, a, what, a 1060 um, anniversary edition uh, NVIDIA GPU um, with no issues. So as long as you've got something like that in up, as you can see, it's... Uh, it's a big mod. Let's just go into the city, because in the city, obviously, I've edited the whole of the city. And when I come in, this again, glorious, sky and glorious doors here, look, folks. Um, when I go into the city, if I remember correctly, we, we should have um, the interior city modded as well. I think Markarth, I remember, it's been a long time since I've played my own work. It's been a long time since I've played TPS 2. <laughs> so, some things, you know, I, you know, I don't remember quite right. Uh, quite, no, it is, it is here, okay. And that's good. We're having that trigger play out correctly. That's good. So, you know, you'll see this work, obviously, in TPOSC. Anyone who's watched my previous streams, this is TPOSC, a component of TPOSC in TPOS2. It's what, you know, but it's an add-on module. You don't have to run it with TPOS2. It's a choice. You can use other mods for the Markarth um, city. But I like... As I say, I really like my Markarth um, work, my Dwemer work, so. Again, you've got the little home and everything. And there are there are many subtle differences between this and TPOSC. Um, it may all look the same, but believe me, it's very different as well. Because I do different things in my, in my work, okay? I mean, the fundamental principle and build is the same, but there are differences. 
so for example I don't is there a middle layer to this I don't think there's a middle layer to, I can't remember is this door active let's find out oh it is I have got a middle layer I think okay again like I say a long time huh? since I played TPS 2 and the way of the dwemer okay so that's good then so this does have the middle layer too we'll just go around we'll go I can't remember if I got the temple here I think I have I'll just have a look at oh, is it on the map it should be on the map actually oh it's not ah did I add the temple to the oh I think it's let's see let's see okay so that's the middle layer that runs around basically you just go around here folks and it takes you um, but let's just jump down and see if the temple is um, can't remember if I added the temple. Oh, we got that nice people. mod. I don't know the author. He changed Cassidus. up the mesh. What is this? Uh, for this area, world. really nice. Is that what you call it? In the Legion, we would have called. Now, it. did I? No, there isn't. No, there isn't a temple here. No, that's because it's a stand. Ah, it's a, I think it might be. Oh, the, is it part of Riverwood Grove? See, I'm trying to remember my own damn work here, folks. So, um. <laughs> As I said, I haven't played TPS um, right, 2 V10 AE in a long time because for the last year or so I've been, um, we'll handle things. You know, you. working on TPS C. But anyway, that's the city. It's pretty much the same as you see um, for TPS C. But the exterior, okay, for TPS 2 V10. If you add the Way of the Dwemer add-on module, is very very different from TPS C. So let's have a little exploration now of the area, okay? And this was done years ago. Oh. Thanks for the likes, by the by the way, folks. And uh, I, d I don't know who's joined me, but if you're my regular guys and girls, it's nice to see you. Hope you're well. <coughs> we just trigger off oh, this. What happened to you, Papa? The Forsworn have taken Kolskager Mine. And let's see how this grass mod, you know, imposes itself upon my um, edits, if it does by any, you know, great de degree. Okay. Not too bad. Which way should we go first? Because there's a lot we could... Let's go across here. Let's go across here, of course. Now, you can actually add um, Skyrim border holds, if I remember rightly, with TPS 2. Oh no, it's already incorporated. I think I've. It's oh no, I ah okay. I actually added this particular one border hold with the way of the Dwemer. So again, I'm having to familiarise myself with the changes that I made for this version. Let's just go up through here, look, and go around. Check we we get no issues, no performance issues or anything like that. Is yeah, there's the NPC still there. That's good. Or he or she. Yes. That will be a quest. That's a quest individual down the line. So, like I say, this is the way of the Dwemer, and I do like it. And again, like I said, it's a simple build. It's not a complicated build, folks, but it is. It will be quest based. And the reason for all this building is it's all quest based down the line at the end of this year. Again, we'll just check all this build. We'll run it around it, make sure there's no issues. And then once I've checked the TPS2 mod in the next couple of days, we can start adding other authors' mods to the mod pack. And we can bring in other subtle lightings and start adding stuff to this mod pack. And then, like I say, during when I'm not streaming, I'll be building the all-in-one Hafengar mod, um, which I'll show you along the way so you can all see, you know, where we're going. Because it's an exciting journey. It's, it takes some time, but, you know... Um, there's a lot to come in the future. Oh, there's, there's the bats there I just added. I just love that those little bats. I just think it's a nice little touch when you run across the bridge. Um, but they're better when you come in the other direction. There's there's no house up there anymore, I don't think. Let's just double... No, there isn't. It's ruins. It's ruins, yeah. It's all changed. Because, again, this is very different from TPSC. So, let's carry on. Dover Halls is so different. Let's go see Dover Halls as well, because you can see this whole area, and there's ruins that run all the way down there, folks. You'll see them in a minute. I think there is. 
if I remember correctly. Let's go and see Dover Halls now. You see how different um, TPUS 2 is from TPUS C. Very how different. Help, Similar more. units, but lots of new units as well, and lots of new and different, you know, variations all ready for the future. All right, what's going on here? <sighs> cool. Another day, another victory. <laughs> another day, another victory. This is Dover Hawes. And um, you've got Followers Rest here. What's Followers Rest? Well, Followers Rest. It's a fo four or five followers you can choose from. A very in strengths and styles. And if you're a purist, you can, you'll have to learn which is which. But um, there's some that will level up and die along the way and respawn. And there's some that are essential and won't. I always like to take my uh, girl with me. I love this guy. In fact, let's take him. He's Good fun morning. and he levels up with you and he's also capable of dying. Yes, he has a bit of a cheat with his armor to begin with. Good morning. To give you a bit more... Um, Follow me. I need your help. ...support. But he's Lead still vulnerable. Way. You know, he, it's still he fairly well something. balanced is what I'm saying. And you have an inn here. And you have a shop. All right. Again, they are reflections of TPSC just relocated We're in this particular instance. I. I'm glad to have met you. And then we got Dover Halls. And again, let's check the lighting of Dover Halls because you know, again, I need to check the lighting of interiors. And the ruins go all the way up here as well, and lead to other locations. But you can check that out in your own time, in your own way, if you like what you see. Oh, key. I did, I'll tell you a little story, I don't know if you've ever heard, some of you might have heard this. Years ago I used to make finding the keys to my home a challenge, but I had so many people moan about it all the time, I just gave up in the end and placed most of them outside the front door, but for example the Dover horse key was found here. <laughs> Alright, it's a bit abstract I know, you know, um, <laughs> but that's where the original key was for Dover horse. And in the end of the, at the end of the day, I got so many people asking me, saying, oh, I can't find the key. Even though I put videos out, they just said, I can't find the key. I just gave up and shoved the damn a key by the door, you know. <laughs> so. Wow, uh, Ink, um, there are people on my forum, right? That, there's a good example on my forum, on my Discord. Links are in the um, box, but I can help you along the way of that. Um, for me to actually personally, I have an Xbox, but for me to start doing that on that Xbox as well with the amount of time it takes for Xbox because it is a completely different animal from PC, it's so slow. Um, that would eat up a lot of my time, mate. I've got so much to do, but what I can say to you is, Inc., come onto the disc Discord and look for people like Deadhead. And, uh, in fact, there's a good conversation going on um, for TPUS, to AEV10 on Xbox right now with Dead and another user, um, and they can help you. Um, and it doesn't matter if you have an experience, you know. Um, I'll say this I'm not saying this is in your case, but you know, if people are unsure about TPOS2 or even me as an author, you know, they're nice people on the Discord, is what I'm saying, and they help you. And there's lots of advice there, okay. Um, and I will help you too when I'm around. Um, I pop in now and again to my Discord, I'm a busy bloke. Um, but, you know, there is lots of help there for you, all right? Um, but you will already find, Inc., a um, working load order. A couple, I think, that um, Xbox users have posted. So I hope that helps. Um, I'm going to have a sip. And the link, a uh, sip, sip of my drink, and there's a link in the description. There should be for the Discord, all right? Okay, so we are a bit brighter in the interiors for sure, folks. Um... And again, I might need to edit my e &B preset. But again, it's got some nice touches of shadow here. Um, maybe it's not too bright for your taste. It's a bit bright for my taste. But as long as we see, see no anomalies like um, flickering, stuff like that, then that's all good. Actually, that does look nice. Actually, the nice thing about having a bit more light is that you can see all the details from the textures of, the, of mod authors. I mean, from your... Your guys and girls' point of view, this must be better because I do like darker interiors. 
but it's not so good I guess it's showing up all the details now TPOS 2 AEV 10 holds cheats you don't have to use them all right um, it's a choice I do because I'm testing all right and I you know this is a testing this is me testing my mods um, and building a mod pack oh look oh it got stuck there a little bit a little bit of nav mesh work there maybe I'll bear that in mind but the interior looks quite nice and there are multiple exits um, from Dover Hawes the way of the voice is another house there are 30 Josh oh hi Josh nice to see you <laughs> that's good to hear. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the comment, mate. I like that. <laughs> so there are multiple homes, um, again, with TPOS2. There's not as many. I don't think there is as many as TPOSC because I, I, didn't, I didn't put them all back into the game, but there's still quite a few folks. And we'll go through those <laughs> as time goes on. I'm just going to have a great because... I've been ill for the last three weeks, so I've only just come back to my work. My throat's really sore, so if I cough or whatever, you have to forgive me, all right? Right. <clears throat> oh. Crafting down here, look, all right? Lots of storage, a basic player home. Um, so, yeah, I, all my homes are basic vanilla-style player homes. They're just different styles in terms of like vampire homes or small. Good man. Okay, Ink. Come on over, honestly. We can help you there, all right? Um, don't be shy. <clears throat> right. Let's check out the rest of Markov then, my um, way of the Dwemer. If you're on the Xbox, folks, all right, let me say you really need the Series S, I think, because otherwise you're going to have tipping point issues very quickly on any other version with the way of the Dwemer all right so if you want to use the way of the Dwemer on Xbox make sure you got the series s I think it is that the newest one because it's a serious large mod and I use um, like I say full lods for um, the best effect as you pro approach um, you know the Markarth area if I recall um, so anyway, let's um, let's run on down now to the last bit and back round again, and then I've shown you Markov. We can tick off Markov, okay? Um, there's more stuff. That, ah, this is good. Now, just this is a this is a pathing test. So I just want to watch, folks. All right? I just want to see where they go because this is this is important. The direction they travel in is important. Okay, that's good. I'm pleased. All right. There's more down here, okay, which we'll go to in a minute, as you can see. And there's more down here and all the way around, you see? So, what we're going to do is... Which Cheers, Inc. Thank you. One day I might get to doing... One day, you know, when I've got the time, because I've got so much going on in terms of projects and other responsibilities at the moment, Inc. But one day, when I've got the time, you know, I will do that, but I can't do that right now. I can't sit down and do a load order myself for, um, oh, for um, Xbox. But the, the examples that you see in this game, right, um, and the mods that I use are pretty much the same for Xbox. It's just the quantity of mods you couldn't use. All right, that's what I'm saying. Right, let's just deal with this guy. Now, again, this is a TPOSC bridge, all right? These are add-ons by TPOSC. Sorry, TPOSC, TPOS2. Sorry, folks. Again, I've been playing TPOSC for the last year and streaming it. And now and again, I keep saying, so forgive me. Remember, this is TPOS2 V10 AE. <laughs> so I add, um, I've got my own little bridges here as well. And like I say, ruin. Oh, there's one more. And other ruins and so on. There's so much to explore. We'll get to it. We'll get through it, all right? Is what I'm trying to say. Okay. <clears throat> Again, there's more stuff all down that area as well, but we will get there. Let's just... Uh, we're now going to go over this bridge and make sure that... Ah! This is uh, Mathy's 3D Trees. 
so I need a patch. I have a patch for Matthew's 3D trees, and I need to make a patch for Matthew's 3D trees, because as you can see here, we've got a tree coming up through the structure. So a patch required there. So note number two in my head. All right, the end of the ruins finish off here. But as the ruins finish off here, if you look across the waterfall there, you'll see a stable outpost. That's a stable outpost, okay? Which is part of TPOS2 V10. There's, there's other... There will be other points of interest here down the line when the quest version comes out. Okay. Um, and... We get down, so we just come down here. So, yeah, we're going to find things like that, folks. We're going to find little lighting issues here and there. And we're going to find um, trees um, popping up in places where they shouldn't. Because I haven't patched for um, Mathy's work and other mods. And, again, that's part of this long process of building this mod pack. Actually, it won't be so long. It's not going to be like TPOSC because um, TPOSC uh, edits, you know, virtually... <laughs> The, the whole of Skyrim pretty much TPOS 2 AE is, is a much easier mod to work with and again on Xbox folks you have these mods but they're obviously single files on PC they're in a they're in an installer they're add-on modules in the installer and you can either load them up or not as in you know for settlements you've got your basic TPOS 2 mod and then you've got mods like the way of the Nords the way of the Dwemer um, Skyrim Bridges, um, Skyrim's Dead, Skyrim's Drunk, so on and so forth. All these different mods that you can add to your load order if you want to, or use other authors' work. So the ruins runs off here and all the way down through, all the way to the end here. All right, look at that. Oh man, <laughs> that's just the depth of field is just so good. I just love that. Um. And then it runs back through here, down through here, all right? This is not nav mesh now, so your follower will not follow you. And I, the reason I didn't nav mesh it is because simply because if you were using it as an add-on module and you're using it with other mods, okay, you don't have any conflicts then. You're not potentially going to get any crossovers, okay? So that's why we, you know, for this particular area, just this area alone, it's not nav mesh, okay? If I recall, um, obviously all the all the other areas around by um, the main city and all this is properly nav meshed. So your follower follows you, okay? So my follower should catch up in a minute. But there's more to show you. So let's now go down. Or oh, there's more to test as well. Let's let's just go down this other direction because we're gonna have little pieces of information and little things to see and do down by the bridge that we saw a minute ago let's just pelt on that let's just run down there and again while i'm checking this folks while we're running around i'm checking the landscape uh, how the grass looks and everything the lighting the depth of field all the different aspects in fact i might n actually i might stand corrected i might need to put the way of the dwemer because that is that was not that's not fully lod that's not a full lod. Um, they, they, they popped in there, so that's just... Uh, okay. We're going to have a civil war spawn here, folks, I think. Is there a... Yeah, there is a civil war spawn here that I've added. All right, we come down here. You're going to find this dead Imperial. Arlon, we advance. I'll let you read that at your leisure. Is someone talking? No. Okay. Okay, so that's something for you to investigate there if you're ever using TPOS 2. Um, again, it's the similar assets to TPOSC with different twists, um, slight changes. And then we've got, what we got here? With, ah, yes, we've got the TPOS 2 fishing, fishing settlement. Um, and there's a bit of gore here, so um, it's a bit brutal, I might say, you know. Um, but again, if you look at these, uh, look at the... Let's get some. These are what I want to check as well because obviously I'm using different textures that are overlapping. 
and it works really well. And we've got rid of that horrible um, roots that you have. I can't remember the mod I'm... Oh, the Forsworn. Let's deal with these. Sorry. This is a TPOC spawn here, folks. It'll make sense in a sec. I'm using a very powerful sword, so he died straight away. <laughs> in fact, what? Oh, I've only got that. I've only got my cheat sword, so... Uh... But we got... That's a TPOC Traveller there, the Orc. That great big Orc is a TPOC Traveller. And, I think, a follower. Is he in this one? Yes. No, he's not. He's not. He is in TPOC. He's not in TPOS 2. Okay. Okay, so what we got here is a slaughtered little settlement, fishing settlement. Again, a backstory to a future quest. When the quest inversion comes out. So, let's move back towards um, time of day. It's going to get dark soon. Okay, so let's go to... Um, let's head down um, towards Carth Weston. Um, we'll check the out that village, that, 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 that area, okay? You think you got what it takes. Our headquarters was in and again, the winning faction of that bridge battle We'll then path back and forth patrolling the area, okay? Just so you know, that's part of uh, the TPOS 2 V10 um, gameplay. Added Civil War spawns. You'll get a real big one outside Rorick Sedge, which is quite uh, good fun as well. Again, just checking the lighting now on the water and the effect of the water. What's going on? Oh, that's a mud crab, all right. Oh, was my follower caught up with me? Was that my... Oh, he is. He's with me. Okay. All right. I've got no torches at the moment, I don't think. And I've got no magic. But we will get those as time goes on. And we'll do some torch lighting tests and stuff like that. Dear fellow traveller, <coughs> one itinerant minstrel and wandering wastrel, after I think what I'll do, folks, is I'm going to allow the night to come in. I know it's going to get dark for you, right? But um, the reason I want to do that is because I want to um, see how the night transitions, okay? I'll see if I can find a torch or something, right? Someone give me a torch, that'd be good. They're not going to have one, are they? Well, we'll just go with it anyway. And we'll just how, see how things um, pan out. Because again, I want to see how the light transitions. Now, I wonder if I can sleep at the stables. I can't remember if I made the interior. I can't wait. It's it's not, it shouldn't be out of bounds because it's the stables, but I think I may, I may have made the interior as in you can't sleep and things like that, so you can't wait in it, you can't sleep. And the bed ownership, I gave bed ownership to the stable master, I think. Let me check. can't remember. If not, it might... Oh, I, no, it's owned. Yeah, it's owned. Okay. So this is a TPSC in interior. It's a, you know, it's a standard vanilla, vanilla interior. And the lighting is acceptable. It's not, you know, it's not over dramatic. It doesn't have... Like I say, we're only running um, the EMB preset, the weather mod, and you know, so it's got no lux or anything like that. But that's still pretty nice. It's pleasing. It's not unpleasing. Let's put it that way. You all know this mod, I guess. SD horned candles. Um, these little touches are are mod author resources. They they look a bit old now, I know, but they are part of the TPSC. Um, Sorry, TPS2 and TPSC um, packs, mods. Just, you know, I, they were put in the game years ago, so let's check comments. Okay, no. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll, uh, no other comments, we'll just carry on going down through the valley here, I guess. The torch, look, look, now we can check out lighting here. Look at this. Let's check out this lighting. Looks strong enough to me for the, br the brazier, size brazier. Those cobwebs look 
dam spiffing. Let's look from the other side and let's look at the face of the NPC. All right, that's not displeasing at all. That's good. There's no ab odd flickering or anything out of place there. That looks very good. Let's move on. Let's keep checking. Let's check the waterfall with the current light. That's always important as well. Make sure there's nothing out of place. We're using realistic water too. We've got another nice sunset of sorts. A bit different. Okay. Let's get in the water actually and check the water. Again, checking all these little elements. Make, making sure everything looks good and nothing's out of place. So... I know it's like I say, there's not a lot of light for you folks. I can see the stream um, in my back end um, of, of YouTube. Um, but like I say, we're, I'm going to find some torches with a bit of luck in a minute. And it's still only early evening. We're in the shadow of the mountain. Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. So it's realistic. It's immersive. You know, the light's fading fast. Let's see what this guy does here. I want that horse to move and that guy to move. Are they moving? They are by the looks of it. That's good. They should do some of that. Who's that there? All right, they're moving. That's good. Who's this? Ah, oh, it's a vampire fledgling. Oh, she'll have a torch on her. Oh, I want her dead. Oh, come on. Oh, let's use my bow. Let's use, she'll have a torch. I bet you anything she's got a torch on her. Come on. Ah. Please have a torch. Ow, oh, bollocks. Oh, sorry about my language, folks. All right, let's move on. Let's save, because I felt a little pull there. Just in case, never know. Is there a trap on this bridge? I can't remember if this bridge has my traps. Yeah, oh, it has. Oh no no! It's just got the, it's just got the trigger that remains. I must remove that trigger. You hear hear it. You'll hear it if you if you listen to the, as you walk over the stone trap. You hear it trigger. I remove the trap from there. Okay, I have to remove that stone trigger as well. Now, do we have the added NPC? Oh look at that moon rising. Okay, this is this doesn't look too bad, folks. Um, I know you can't see a lot, but in terms of the night sky. We'll, we'll get to um, Rorikstead. That's the closest place now. And we'll sleep... Oh, Forsworn. And we'll sleep in, all right? I'm just going to quickly check. Because I thought I'd... Um, Violins. On. On. No other restrictions. Okay. Now you're mine. <laughs> oh, give me a kill move. Let's get back. Oh, we, what we do was... That's nice to see the lighting on the fort there. And the lights on the floor. Got some... Uh, we do still have WizKids particles for the um, windows. Okay? So that's something I am still running. So that'll make the windows look really nice. Look at this. There's a bit more light here. We'll get up to Raw instead, folks, and we'll sleep, alright? <coughs> I might actually find a um, more low-powered weapon because this is overkill at the moment. And even I like to have some sort of a fight. <laughs> so, Okay, that looks good. Oh, stop. The mammoth skull there, or... Not body. Now, where's my NPC? He was with me a moment ago because I heard him fighting. I did run a bit faster. Maybe it took a second to catch up. But it's, again, he's my gauge as well. He tells me that everything's pathing as it should be. Sorry, all the nav mesh is working as it should be. So he's pathing correctly. Wrong way around with my words there. But that is not too shabby. 
I love that rising moon. Or moons. <laughs> okay. Where are they? Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> you still got those lovely fire effects. Um, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, here we go. Look at that. With that moon, that's great. <laughs> Where's the other one? Up here. Oh, that's just popped in. Do you see how that light just popped in? Is that because of the rise of moons? It might be. But that's better. You can see now, folks. Look at that. Again, that's some, some editing in the EMB file. Because I'm not running Lux. Is, is there someone else? Oh, there is. All right. Let's deal with this dude a minute. Where is he? Where are you going? Where are you? Oh, you're there. I'm going to put you down. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, that is pretty, man. I'm saving because that's screenshot material. I'm coming back later to save. System. Use that for the next um, potential um, stream. It's quite nice. We'll see. Now we got more lights. So I just need to do some editing um, in the EMB preset for that transition. Because cause the, the EMB preset set in Suns was built to run with Lux, Lux I said earlier, in the Lux series. So um, there might be, there will be some small edits required, I expect, for the preset to work with TPS2 V10 on um, PC. So let's go to Raw instead. We'll sleep through. And we'll get back to the morning light. And then we'll, sh we'll go to Whiterun. And along the way, I'll show you some of the stuff on the Tundra. The spawns and stuff like that, which you'll, which you'll find, folks. Which you'll probably find... Well, it's fun. Maybe I shouldn't show you, but it's spoilers, but I'm going to. Um, you, you can look away if you don't want to see. Um, but we'll just go to the inn and sleep. That's nice. The, the, the campfires and all the torches and everything is looking really nice. That is nice. That's looking good. I've seen enough to know the night's probably, you know, there's not going to be any issues with the night time in transition. So let's check the morning then. Let's go to, let's go to three or four. Um, and then we'll see how the morning kicks in. We won't sleep at the inn. Two, three, time. It's 324. Um, let's I'm just going to save, I think, in case I want to come back. So that's nice with... Oh, that's, um... Ah. Oh, God, what's it called? Hold on, Josh, I'm just thinking. Um, howdy, Lewis. Go on, so how are you doing, Lewis? Nice to see you. Let me think, um... Dragon Skyrim, Dra Dragonborn Voice. Oh, hold on, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Sorry, folks. You have to forgive me. I, I deal with so many mods and stuff all the time. Um, I've got so much information in, with my work. I'm a bit scatterbrained at times. That's what I'm trying to say. Sometimes I'm a little scatterbrained, you know, with things. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's go to... Um, oh, it's Dragonborn VoiceOver. I just remembered it. Dragonborn voiceover. I'm sure it is. Let's just double check. There you go. I don't know if you can run it on Xbox. I don't think you can because it needs certain scripts. So, if I remember rightly, yeah. I'm not... Well, you could actually because I think Xbox... I don't know if Xbox has this. But I know you have those or you could have that. I'm sh Oh, no, of course you can't. What am I talking about? I'm talking shit. You can't, folks, because it's SKSE driven. And I don't think Xbox has got SKSE, has it? So, yeah, I don't think... Um, if you're on Xbox, Josh, I don't think it's a, a mod you could use. Um, let's go back in game. Sorry, I was being dense there, folks. Um, let me just check the... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I would play on Xbox if I had the time, just to experience Xbox. I don't have the time, Josh, so... Um, 
but this is looking really nice so what we do is we'll watch how um this light transitions oh, just a few more hours um, and I can crawl under some furs through the through the late e night early morning folks all right because um there will be some edits required for the EMB preset setting suns. There's no doubt about that. Because um, like I say, you know, I'm running setting suns, the EMB preset, which I made to run with Lux. And I'm not running Lux or Luxfire or anything like that. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I've played on Xbox, Josh. And it's, it's, it's not without its charm. But, yeah, obviously PC for obvious reasons. Now, let me just give you a heads up, folks. Where is it? I can't remember exactly where this trap is. There's a trap here. Right, and I've got to find it, but because I'm running a grass mod, all right, um, it's way harder to find because it's covered up with bloody trigger, or like I say, the dead. Here we go. Right, let me just before I hit this, um, before I hit this trigger, all right, just this is a TPSC trap, all right, folks. Now here are corpses. Now there used to be a little boy praying here in TPS two. You don't have this in TPSC. This is a TPS2 um, trap, uh, independent trap. There used to be a little boy here, but certain mods would affect the boy praying, so he'd run off. Um, so I took the boy out, but it's obvious there's been an event here. And this is one of the many traps that I add to the Skyrim wor world. Now, some of the traps are actually triggered, so they happen later on in game when you've finished certain quests. But now and again, I like to put in kill events for the game player because there's many roads to solving guy as you well know and it's a key phrase of tpos series along with um other key phrases that i like to use but um now we're getting a lot brighter here what's the time because again i want to be watching the lighting of the night i know we've got the aurora so it is very bright and i like that and i could easily um change up that variable by going under multiple weathers because I've got quite and probably I've probably got quite an intense setup on the light in here. Let's have a look. Actually, no, that's pretty standard. All right, just going down. All right, it's not. Yeah. Okay. So let's just hit this trigger and you can see what I mean. So this is one of many triggers. This is an exception rather than a rule in terms of low-level gameplay at the beginning of your game. Right? You'll find one. There's one other trap like this. All right. Oh shit, let me just preface, I just remembered, shit I forgot, I'm running P Boss's um, Naked Hag Ravens, because I think that's actually immersive, okay, so, <laughs> um, if you don't like it folks, look away now, I forgot about this, alright, um, and I, the only other, um, what other NPC, oh the Giants, the Giants are also, some of the, I'm running this female one as well, because they're not culturally minded. I just think it's an immersive touch. And I love the uh, models themselves. Not because of their big tits. But <laughs> just because they're great models. And they make sense. So, if you're offended. If you're going to be offended. Look away now, alright? Jesus. Look how hard they hit. Oh, and I've got a lot of cheat. I'll show you my cheats in a minute. Where's my potions? Because they're kicking my ass. What am I doing? And I've got a wolf on my ass now. Oh, Jesus. I'm panicking, man. <laughs> Uh, what am I doing? Items. <laughs> oh, God. Let's just... See, as you can see, I'm cheating, folks. I need to. <laughs> right, okay. That's all. Oh, it looks good, though. Oh, yes! <laughs> Brilliant. Actually, those wolves have done me a favour, folks. They've distracted the hag ravens. I was going to show you how oh, powerful they are. Um, and how much hard work they are. Let's just have a look at... They're great textures. They look so realistic and immersive, you know. Um, you know, and again, I think there's a dressed version, but that's actually um, quite a nasty trigger. But those wolves um, really did me a favour in, in, in helping me um, distract those hag ravens, or I'd have got a been I've been absolutely obliterated. Do I what? Do I flirt the new... Sorry, Lewis, what are you saying? Sorry, restate the question, all right? Um, so, this is a bit bright for me, so I'll probably edit. Um, 
the presets for the Aurora. It's a bit, I know we're getting into early dawn as well. So let's just see how it transitions, folks, okay? Message with that. No, 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 no. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not at work. I'm, I'm in my own home. So this is, you know, everything I do is at home. But um, there are some authors that I turn off that I'm not... Oh, there, did you see that subtle change? Drop of light. Now, that was okay. I think that just changed very nicely. That just seemed quite smooth. Let me know what you think on that transition, folks. I thought that was all right. Hello, Kyle. Nice to see you. So, yeah, but let me just say, you know, um, I have UNP, which I have for females. Um, if you look at my TPSC mod pack, it does, does state that it's an adult mod pack. This is an 18 stream as well, so I'll just caveat all this as well, folks. And um, um, I only have a few mods that are, that are nudie mods, like UNP, because, again, great texture mods, very immersive. I like it. Um, it's, you know, it, it makes the game all round more immersive. Um, hag ravens and giants. Because again, hag ravens and, and giants don't have the same social norms as, um, you know, humans. So I like that. So we've just seen the transition. That, now we're going to have a beautiful sunset here, a sunrise here. I've got a funny feeling by looking across the horizon now, we're going to have the setting sun's EMB red sunset. So just go back to the comments because they're coming in good yeah i thought that was a nice shift of lighting too so you know the the emb preset i'm running setting suns folks um which i made for tpsc um yeah 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 no lewis people do um there are that's what i was saying lewis i do turn we're just going to watch this sunset sunrise sorry folks okay and just see how things transition and i'll talk why that's happening um, there are some mods I turn off, Lewis, because there's some things that even offend my tastes. Um, there's some things I'm just not interested in. I like immersive stuff, but I'm not really into all the sex mods and all the rest of it. But that's, you know, different strokes, different folks. Um, I understand there's a lot of horny teens out there and one thing or another. I get it, you know. I was young once, but I'm not so young now, so, <laughs> you know. Um, and I've had plenty in, in my lifetime, so I'm not like, lacking in anything, if you know what I mean. I've experienced, um, well, I've had some nice experiences, let's just say, <laughs> say that, you know. I haven't gone without over the years, so I'm fulfilled, is what I'm saying. <laughs> and I'm 55 now, and it's not so important as it once was. So, but what I do like to do is build an immersive game, okay? I do like to build, oh, this, is, this is transitioning really nice. This is going to be nice, okay. So I do like an immersive game, folks, so... Is you, Kyle, are you saying your in English is not your first language or mine? Because I am English, but I do admit my English is shit. <laughs> and that's not that bad, not really. <coughs> um, but I'll try to slow down if I'm going too fast or something, Kyle, if you're, if you're having trouble understanding me. <coughs> <laughs> I don't feel it sometimes, Zink, I tell you. Okay, I'm going to move through the tundra now, folks, right? Um, oh, now that was, that was a... Now what's going on there? Now we just saw another change there, so I reckon... Oh, okay, Kyle. Unfortunately, I don't speak French. So you're out of luck there. I'll try to slow down and be a bit considerate for anyone that doesn't speak English, all right? Um, well, or what I'll say is I'll try to keep my language as um, uncomplicated as possible, okay? I'll try to keep it simple, Carl. I get where you're coming from, all right? Okay. Um, we just saw a, a horrible transition of light there, and I reckon that's from... Um, from sunrise to dusk or dusk to sunrise okay so i think in the emb preset folks i need to edit because we talked about this earlier and we've just seen another example of it that's post i want effect oh that's the wrong one there we go what i need to do there's sunset in 
sun, oh, no, here we go, here we go. Here's Dawn in Sunrise, okay? And I think I need to change up the toning curve map. If we look at the tone curve map for Dawn there to here. All right, now that's pretty much the same. Where's the fluctuation? Is it coming from, it could be coming from these variables, which is more than likely, the overbright. So we would probably need to do some work here for those for that period of lighting. But you can see actually that we had a nice transition from night time to early dusk, but we had a poor transition from dusk to sunrise, I think. I think that's what's going on there, okay? So I'll need to work on the EMB preset once we've worked out what other lighting mods we might add to this mod pack. Okay, so um There are folks across the tundra, TPSC touches, we'll go up to the Horseman's Inn, alright, we'll check, we won't check the unknown, you can do that for yourself, and we're going to go to the 13th Legion. Now, <coughs> the 13th Legion isn't necessarily very immersive or correct, I know, but I just, oh Christ, I'm suffering. I have wounds loaded up, a mod called Wounds, and I'm injured, so I'm going to have to find some healing at Whiterun. Okay, let's just... Uh... I've got broken bones. <laughs> My left arm. I don't think I've got firewood, so I can't do that. Okay, so I'm in a bad way here at the moment, all right? So I'll just show you the um, wounds mod in action. You can see I've got a broken arm, which means I'm not going to be able to use my sword, I don't think. Um, there's the horseman's inn over there, look. Oh, of course. Oh, no, that's that. Okay, so I'll just run over to the horseman's inn. Um, I think I'm going to have to... So I won't be able to use my sword. Oh, well, that's the whole point. I just remembered as well, folks. Um, there's a big civil war spawn. And here it is. All right. Here's the civil war spawn. All right. We've got the. We've got the sons of Skyrim here, and we've got the Imperials just spawning here. Okay. And there's a big spawn, folks. It's uh, spread out over this particular area. Okay, so we've got the Horseman's Inn, which is a TPS 2 AE add on. It just sits on the road here. And if anyone knows what Kyle's saying, <laughs> let me know, because I ain't got a clue. He could be insulting me, I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah, all the mod. <laughs> but um, anyway, let's move on down to the 13th Legion. I want to show you that spawn, okay? Now, you can see the, the lods for the TPSC ruin that I add to the game, okay? <laughs> so these are the ruins as well, and the Imperial camp is just after that. We're certain, I'm certainly getting some interesting lighting effects. Oh, wow. That was nice. <laughs> As that sun's rising, let's just, let's just walk. Oh, that is nice, folks. Let's just save. Come back later. Have some screenshots. And why he wanders towards the ruins there, I'm just going to have a drink. Oh, yes it is. Yes, Kyle. The arm is broken from the, the mod wounds. 
and I can get some potions and healing at Whiterun. Okay? Wow, look at that. Look at that, folks. <laughs> that is bloody nice. Comp my own bias here, maybe, but that looks so nice. Now, we're heading towards the 13th Legion. I might be able to pick up some torches. Okay, Kyle. Good stuff. I wish I had a translator, but I don't. I guess I could pop, put one in... Oh. The 13th Legion's there. Oh, no, we got the spiders. This is a TPSC trap. Oh, I've only got one hand flame. Look. Look at my f look at my flaming hands, folks. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I've only got one hand that I can use for... Jesus, man. This could take me ages to kill this thing. Because I've got a broken arm. I've only just begun the TPSC... Oh, sorry, the TPS 2 Hold on, Lewis. I'll answer that in a minute. Let me just focus on this. Because <laughs> I've got... A, I mean, I, c I can still run. Let's get out of here. I am going to use my brain here, folks. And I am going to jump. Let's get up here. Let's get up here. Way. Let's see if... I, oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> let's get up here. Let's just get the elephants to help me. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, I got a broken arm! Man, I'm in pain! That's it, we've almost got him. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. Screenshot of that. Okay, so you can see how fucked up I am. <laughs> Sorry, my language. Oh, female giant, folks. Female giant. Um, P boss's female giant. Immersive. Again, I really like what I'm seeing here, folks. <laughs> this is looking really nice. My broken body aside, this is looking very, very nice. Now, you've got to be careful here. There's other... Do you see that there? Do you see uh, the TPOSC... Sorry. A TPOS 2 V10 trap. That's a badass dragger. We're going to stay away from there. The unknown. We're going to stay away from here as well. You can go there at your leisure. <laughs> Good luck to you. <laughs> okay. Oh, we've just had a crash. Ooh. Okay, let me write that down. Let's go back in game. I just felt a pull as well, folks. Just as I... Just as that crashed, I felt a big pull. So I'm going to have to investigate what that is. And that's why we're doing this. I just need a pen. I need a pen. What's a pen? Oh, okay. And that was at the unknown. So here begins the new process. The unknown. Let's see if it repeats. The unknown crash. Okay. That could be all the grass I'm running with my GPU. What I'm going to have to do is test locally and see if the same thing happens. Because again, you know, I'm running a very, very big load order. And I'm not sure how this grass is going to run. And I also placed the grass mod um, below TPSC. Sorry, TPS 2 That might be a mistake. I might need to place it above TPS 2 in the load order so i've got some work to do folks but that's not too bad i'm not displeased at the moment um this is looking really nice i think what i'll do is i'll avoid that spider let's just speed up i'm going to avoid the spider and i'm going to try to avoid some combat so i'm going to go this way we'll just get back to where we were now it was at the unknown where we crashed so um I'm going to save in a sec, okay? Right, let's save here. And let's see if the same thing happens. If it repeats constantly, there's a technical issue, folks. 
If it doesn't repeat, then it could have been just a momentary strain on the system or something running in the background on my PC. Um, which means I will need to, I, obviously, all the testing you see me do in stream, folks, yeah, I do locally. Um, so I always can confirm things two ways, all right? So, the unknown, where's the unknown? So we looked here, didn't we? And then we turned around. I reckon it's the spawn, the cells leading up. Let's see if it happens again. Right, I haven't felt that pull this time. That's interesting. I didn't feel a pull. So. Let's see the tr if the trigger kicks in. Well, there's a trigger for this TPUSC Imperial. What time of day is it? Okay, it's AM. Okay. We're just going to stand here and watch this battle, I suggest. Just watch this battle play out, folks. And this is the Imperial Camp, the 13th Legion. Um, some people like it, some people don't. They'd say, why was the camp, you know, on the tundra? Well, why not? It's, you know, it's, it's a, a staging base from Rorikstead in, in the tundra itself in Whiterun. So I thought it was a nice touch. Maybe not totally law friendly, but I liked it. And I thought I'd play on the Roman Legion, the 13th Legion, of course. You know, so. I'm um, sorry, Lewis, um, I forgot I've got to answer your question. Right, am I still testing? No, TPOSC is done. All right, TPOSC mod pack and all the mods are, that, that are with it now work perfectly all patched for and all the rest of it. This is now TPOS2, okay? We're now, I'm now going to do the same. I'm going to build a mod pack for TPOS2, and that's what I'm doing with this, okay? All right, so this is a mod pack build now for TPOS2, and I am... Um, making a all-in-one Hafengar mod for Solitude, which is going to be part of the TPS2 mod pack. Now, I've just felt a performance issue again. Let's save in case I... I've just felt a pull around here, folks. So maybe um, it's grass-related because I'm running a very big grass mod. I mean, look at the Tundra here. It could be performance-related. I mean, I may not get it locally, but when I'm in stream, look how dense the grass is. And it's a big grass mod. You know the grass mod. It's a f the folk, whatever it's called. It's a very, very big grass mod. Um, so that could be the issue. It could be too much for my graphics card when streaming. And it may not happen locally. So I'll have to work that one out. Uh, I'll have to do some vanilla testing. And I'll check that out. But that's all part of this build. Look at this. Whoa. Huh. This is lovely. But so far, we've had such few issues, which is really good. A little crash there. It didn't repeat. So I suggest it, it could be, um, I don't, don't think it's a major issue. I don't think it's going to take a lot to sort out. And look at this. Again, look at all this grass. It is a hell of a lot of grass. We've got Mathy's 3D trees. We've got parallax for the textures of the floor, look. So now I'm going to make my way to White Run because I need to heal. And then I'll finish the stream up for the day. But. And it's pretty good. Our poor bra our brave adventurer is taking a bit of a kicking. <laughs> yeah, folks. So the TPRC mod pack. That's the, the a different mod from what we're running today. Oh, shit me. I've got... Oh, I don't need this. Oh, my hands are working all of a sudden. Yeah, definitely. Where's he gone? 
Oh, oh there he is. Oh, okay, that's pretty smart. There's some real nice effects here, of course, folks. I'm sure you all recognise the mods that I'm using. Oh, what's going on? Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> Nice. Okay. Well, that looks pretty good. I mean, I'm not unhappy with that. That looks really nice. Now, the funny thing is with wounds, if you've noticed there, right? If I go to th uh, third person mode, I can only use one hand. Look, look. Do you see how dysfunctional that is? But if I go to two, if I go to first person, I can use both. I didn't know that. I take it it's meant to do that. I've never used Wounds before. It's Wounds is a new mod for me um, in the last few weeks. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, I've got to go to White Run, White Run and heal, folks. So let's get to White Run now. But those are just some of the things um, on the Tundra that you've got. All right? And with uh, TPS2 AEV10. But I do like the depth of field. That's really nice. I love the sky. That sun looks fantastic. It's looking good. Uh, um, again, like I say, everything that you see me do in this stream, folks, I will be mirroring in local play. My, I think my follower died, folks. I told you he, he was he could be killed. I think he died. He'll probably he'll respawn in a couple of days, and you'll find him back at followers rest. Okay. Oh, sugar. Let's go back into first mode. There we go. Oh, yeah. Cool, that's a nice effect. Strong flames, I like that. Yeah, th there's a serious performance hit on my GPU. In stream, folks, around the tundra. <laughs> it doesn't like all this grass, I don't think. I think that's what we're dealing with here. I think um, what I have to do is reduce the, the grass. It's, it's far too much. I mean, it, it may not be much local play, but in terms of stream, I can feel it. it the, the PC's um, struggling. Um, definitely struggling. I will do other checks as well and make sure it's got nothing to do. But, I mean, again, like I say, local play, when I'm not in stream, it might be perfectly fine. But in terms of streaming, this PC is struggling with this load, or it seems to be. That's what I think it is. Because, again, I don't actually do much around these particular cells either. Um, so, we just have to do some base testing, sort it all out. No, no, no. I mean, in, in game, I mean, everything's working quite good, Lewis. But again, it's about um, quality. It's about good performance, you know. It's about, you know, I, you don't make mod packs that, that you know, people have um, hard hits on their frames per second or stuff like that. The t for example, the TPSC mod pack runs it around 58, 60 frames all across Skyrim. And that's with everything that I'm running in that TPSC mod pack. And that's 400 odd mods. With all these textures, the only difference at the moment is is the grass. I use a different grass mod because obviously I added a lot of new settlements for TPSC, and the grass mod that I use is far more manageable. I can um, adjust the values far easier. Whereas with this this particular grass mod, it's a very dense, heavy grass mod. Everybody knows it. Even the author. Um, let's just show you the grass mod I'm using because I can't remember the name of it, folks. Every, even the author himself plays on the fact that he knows it's a heavy grass mod, you know. Um, let me bring it up. Here we go. So it's Folkvengar. Folkvengar, grass in landscape overhaul. <laughs> you know. Um, and... Uh, 
he's actually taken away so i reckon th obviously things have changed with the graphic so there you go say goodbye to your frame rates you know this is his video uh, you know it is a big mod a big grass mod and it's very taxing um but it does look good so yeah all right just come out of there i'll go back in game what uh, 40 frames well with the tpsc mod pack mate i get 58 or to 60 um some fluctuations now and again between 55 and 60 but with my tpsc mod pack it, it's it's far better as far as i'm concerned if, if you run the right sort of mods with the right sort of patch support um yeah i guess yeah but from my point of view you know i i like to produce a good standard of, of mod pack with good performance you know um let's just put on the frames you know let's just go back to where i felt that pull i mean obviously i will do this as well folks down the line I, I will put the frames on and i and i will um you know be testing all over skyrim watching what the frames do um so yes yeah, so the tprc mod pack has about 400 odd mods with all these textures the only difference is the grass mod that i'm running and i get you know 55 to 60 all the way through that tprc mod pack i want the same for this mod pack now if people then choose to use uh, greater settings um in their emb presets and add other mods that affect frames that's up to them but i like to pull out a mod pack that plays well that gives good performance and then people can build upon it that's the point of because a lot of people have trouble using t had trouble t using tpsc because it's a big mod some people still have problems using TP tps2 v10 even though it's a lot easier to use but that's why i'm doing this to help people that want to use my work um so yeah but i'm definitely probably going to reduce the values um for the grass mod to a probably around 90 so the grass is thinned out because it is um it does take a big hit on performance so far that at the moment it's not too bad it may be just in key areas and so it could be nav mesh work that needs doing but like i say whatever the, the reasons are the solutions will be found and patched for for this mod pack folks um i've just realized how long i've been in stream I've nearly been in stream for two hours. I was only planning to do about an hour and a half. So I'm going to get to White Run and finish off, folks. And I will come back Wednesday will be my next stream, I think. Okay. But again, the lighting here looks nice. Time of day. Okay. I have no no um, mod loaded up for White Run. Okay. So, um... So we can choose a mod for white run down the line. Um, I'm not sure what I'll, I'll use yet. I'll investigate what I what I want to run. I don't expect it'll be JKs because we use JKs for TPSC, a lot of his mods. So I'll probably use different mods for white run and other areas. So I need to get to the temple, and that's where I can get healed. Thanks for joining me today, Josh. I will give my thanks to to Lewis and Kyle and everyone that joined me in a minute. I always like to. Why the why I don't have a lot of people watching. I can always um, give you know give my appreciation to people that have watched the stream, um, and I like to do that when I when I can. Ah, my follower was caught up with me. That's so maybe there was the nav mesh issue. Thank you. Um, the pain is already easing. Okay, where's where's the guy that I? Ah, there he is. Okay. Good afternoon. Now, obviously, the Skyrim voiceover mod won't work with this NPC because it's for another mod. It's not vanilla, but it will say some of the lines um within the dialogue it depends what those lines are like if i said never mind he'd say that there's a little space and pause and then it should advance there you go okay so my broken left arm is now fixed the pain is so great the 
we'll just fix that. Speed that on. Okay. And then go, never mind. And we should hear him say that. Never mind. Yeah. Because obviously that's a vanilla line. So that's voiced for. Okay. What have you got, what have for, you got sale? for sale? There you go. So he says that. Take okay. a look. And we're going to buy all this. Okay. So I can look after myself now when I'm on the road. All right. Until next time. So we'll save that up. The NPC is looking good. That's good. We'll save that up, folks. We'll just come out of the temple. I'm going to go to Talis Shrine and heal. Um, and then I'll leave it there. Oh, we dear. are the children of man. Talos is oh, the what true God We're man. using... We're running Sent Winter Sun. Okay, so like I say, there's... The there's checks I'm going to have to make. Because I haven't deployed a patch for Winter Sun. For TVS 2 AE. And I've got the grass mod below TPOS 2. I might need to stick it above TPOS 2. So I've got some investigations to make. Once I'm happy with TPOS 2, folks, and we're getting no issues when we're streaming, then we'll start adding other authors' mods. So it's a step-by-step -step progression. You know, as we check, everything's okay. Okay? Okay, so let's come out of there. Let's see if I'm getting to see the mods that I'm and running. But just get away from Heimskirk because he's really bloody noisy. Okay. Can I? I don't want to have to log in. Shouldn't have, I shouldn't have to do that stuff? That all right? I'll log in. It's I can't remember my, what what I logged in because it's been so long since I've had to do that. So I'll log in for the next stream and I'll show you the mods I've got loaded up for now. All right, folks. Okay, so. Um, let's just check Dragon, Re Dragon, Dragon Reach's lighting, and then I'm going to save and come out of the stream. I'll just check the interior of one of the you tried of, mercenary of the lighting for White Run. Okay. Okay. All right, that's not too bad. Again, no effects because we're not running Lux or anything. So. We we'll save. We're gonna save there, folks. Okay, so for anyone and everyone that joined me today, um, Josh, Lewis, Kyle, Inc. Thanks for joining me. Uh, and anyone else that did, it was nice to see you all. I will be back Wednesday um, if things don't change. It's the bank. Sorry, it's the bank. It's the bank holiday today, and um, it is the school holiday, so my son's off. I'll check it out, Lewis, okay? I, again, feel free to mention mods. And if they're compatible with AE, I'll use them. And I'll, I'll, I'll deploy them if, you know, okay? So, yeah, I'll check that out. So, yes, yeah, so, um, I forgot what I was saying. Um, yeah, I'll be back Wednesday, folks, if, if the family's out on Wednesday like they should be. And nothing changes on me here. Again, thanks for sharing your time because, you know, time's a precious res a resource too. If you like my work... You know, hit the like button and all the rest of it, the usual stuff. Um, come and join me on my Discord. And if you've got any, if you know, if you want to support the work via the art, via donations, because I do this full, full time, I'm always looking for new patrons because they come and go. And I'd appreciate it. Um, and until Wednesday, folks, um, you all take care. Thanks for sharing your time with me. I'm Nesbitt. You're the people at Skyrim. Good gaming, folks. <laughs>